Well, nearly 40% of Americans experience dizziness at some point in their life, a statistic that often leads to devastating falls. Researchers are all now learning that often uh, these unexplained illnesses actually tie back to DNA. For your life, your health, Allie Davis explains. For Stephanie Ney, everyday tasks like driving became nearly impossible two and a half years ago. I would start to just feel like um, my head would get dizzy or woozy, and then the whole world would start spinning around me. Kind of like this. It was as if the, the sky and the road around me were revolving, and I was just driving through this spinning tunnel. Every time that would happen, I would have to pull over and just to sit. Walking, standing, and even sitting. I would just have to hold onto the desk because I felt like if I didn't, I would fall out of my chair. Grew increasingly uncomfortable. Nay didn't know the cause behind her vertigo and nausea. She started seeing specialists at Intermountain Healthcare, where she's also employed. It took me months of testing. The results were inconclusive, but through a research study called the Heretogene Population Study, Nay discovered an underlying genetic component to her sickness. And we analyze their DNA and we look for uh, associations of common diseases with um, what we call genetic variants. Chief scientist David Jones says through the study, researchers unexpectedly identified six new gene variants connected to vertigo. We have now pinpointed a genetic explanation for dizziness in those people. And what that helps then is to exclude the more serious uh, life-threatening health conditions such as a heart attack or a stroke. Or other abnormalities in the brain's anatomy. Nay hopes this spares others the tedious process of diagnosis. It's mentally exhausting. For a faster road to healing. Having that blood work in the beginning and the genetic finding in the beginning would have sped up the process. For your life, your health. Allie Davis, KSL 5 News.